Icy Straight Point. Yes, Icy Straight. Icy Straight Point. There's not a ton of stuff here. Oh, it's pretty small. Pretty small. If you had to uh, go on the zip line, cool. It's expensive, so we're not doing it. Walked on the beach a bit, and then we're going to do a hike into the town. Yeah. Yeah. I can see why this is a, a short. Very short, day. Uh, short, short day, or like we're only here till two o'clock or something like that. So I don't know how you'd spend a whole lot more unless you were just hiking all day. But we'll walk around, take some pictures. The girls are trying to figure out what's there to do. We may be on the boat sooner than later. We'll see. We'll see. Alright guys, I'm on my own coming back. The rest of the party has gone into Huna and uh, I'm in the boat. It's starting to rain and uh, I'm tired. So tired. Okay, so back in the room, at least I'm back in the room. Uh, security's been super great being able to come in and out of the boat. You go through a couple little card checks and whatever and it's good. Um, yeah, Icy Straight Point. Uh, for me, the girls, of course, and Bo are still out wandering around. It's just after lunchtime, so noon. Uh, I don't know. It's just maybe it's because of the fact that, you know, it, this is like stop three or whatever it is. Uh, you start to just be like, yeah, I want to see something different. So this is really, in my opinion, uh, just a tourist trap stop. It's, you know, Overpriced zip line, which I'm sure is cool. Looks really cool. I'd love to do it, but not for that price. I'm not going to do it, uh, especially being that Canadian. You know, you have to tack on 35, 40 percent. It's expensive, uh, and then it's just like little tiny shops. Now I get that this place is also kind of in the middle of nowhere, which means that you know getting things here will be expensive for sure. But some of the stuff is. You know twice as expensive as you could find in Juno or Skagway and I'm sure since we're going to uh, catch a can tomorrow prices will come back into our normal kind of level and I'm not really looking for anything that says the town or the area that we're in I just want a nice Alaska because then like, who cares if I'm in Juno or a catch a can or Skagway Alaska anyways that's it for me today uh, we have catch a can tomorrow. That should be exciting. Uh, and I'm super pleased that I'm back on the boat at noon because it's kind of rest day and tomorrow is kayaking. And that's going to that's gonna be exhausting. All right, guys. <sighs> See you tomorrow.